Hi, I'm Nadine Curley with FamilyBaker.com. Today's topic is going to be backyard chickens. In our quest for having some back to basics, chickens often will come a part of it. This is one of our little hens. This is Red, and she is our heftiest of the girls here. We live in the state of Colorado, and in our town, we're allowed to have five female fowl. So we have, right now, we have five hens. The um, reason we are showcasing our red here is because she's got a story to tell us in just a few minutes. But first, um, we knew that when we moved here from Florida that we had a few hurdles, a few unknowns about having chickens. Where I lived in Florida, we had six and a half acres. When we came out here, we live in a neighborhood. So we had to check with our, our town and like I said, we could have the five fowls. But then the other part is, what do I do about the winter time? I was not used to having winter at all. And doing a little bit of research, asking some locals, it's always best to ask your locals because they live in that area and they know the stuff that really is not uh, ethereal, but really is practical for your spot. Is they, they suggested, all they said was, you just have to have a room of some sort for them that is a barrier to the wind. So the kiddos had my kiddos outgrew their playset so we took the playset part and we just added some walls and doors and things to it which i'm going to show you in a few minutes to to keep the wind out at night the other part of course is predators so we have it all nice and, and secure you do not have to have something elaborate as a child's playset any kind of a uh, room we we started with a chicken tractor so you can google that and see the easy basic plans for it but one of the things for chickens the happier they are the better their eggs not just in taste but in, in nutrients so we wanted to make sure that our chickens were pretty happy so in this guy we also just put chicken wire on the wraparound porch so my chickens have a wraparound porch and a coop and electricity and they're set but on this wraparound porch we Put the, put the chicken wire so that way on the days that we had to keep them contained, they were not contained inside. That, that we just went ahead and utilized what we had available to us and have, have this everywhere. Well, the, um, the weather, it would, does just that. Um, we just make sure that there's either hay or mulch on the floor inside of their coop in the winter time. And they do really well uh, with their own insulation, keeping themselves warm. We did put a light bulb in, but man, I tell you what, I would feel just uneasy at night knowing that there was a light bulb in. They're not getting that nighttime dark, things like that. So I, I had read a story about a gal up in Montana who lost one of her hens and it got to be below 40. It was below 40 for a few nights and she knew that her hen had died. It was frozen summers out there. A few days later, her hen came marching in and she was surprised, she was amazed. But these guys have an instinct that they will be able to find their, their covering, their uh, protection that are out there. That being said, I'm thinking, all right, so then our, our hens don't need that light bulb. And yes, sure enough, they were fine. And then Red one day decided she would really teach us a few lessons. And she hopped over our backyard fence here when it was negative six degrees. Again, she was just like that, that chicken up in Montana. She was gone for a couple of days of, of sub-zero weather and we thought the same thing there's just no way but sure enough she was she was fine she was smaller she didn't get the food sources that um, she's typically used to getting here but she didn't freeze to death she was able to find herself a place to to stay at night to to keep warm they fluff up their feathers so what we learned is also is that just on one side you want to clip their feathers so that they cannot um, hop the fences and get out. So what we have for them is their coop and we you know have the the water and the food that will you know for them out here but in in this surrounded area it's just a mulch yard that we have. The mulch yard is because we will take some of our uh, table scraps and we will take some of our um, garden scraps and we'll throw them in here and they just eat away and they just turn it all up and it's all in here and with um, their poo mixed, their manure mixed in there, it just is making this soil great, which I'm gonna show you some of the soil in a few minutes. In, in the um, Back to Eden garden, this is the kind of stuff that you wanna use. So this is just 
this is a symbiotic relationship. In the winter time, our chickens have free run in their entire yard because we're not out here, we're not using it. And so they are getting all the bugs and the critters they can, they could possibly find out here. And they had strong, healthy eggs. Come the, the fall, we let them loose after we're done all of our harvest, we let them loose inside of our garden so that they are eating all the leftover bits that are in there and they're churning over some of that and their manure is just increasing the nutritional value of that ground. So on this side, I have some um, addendums that I can put in that garden and on that in the winter time, they are taking care of it for me. Come spring, they come back inside this coop and they spend, spend spring and summer here, which is really an interesting thing is that in the spring before things are coming up in the garden, our chickens are just really relying on the egg maker that you get from the um, feed store. But we also have learned that, you know, and I guess every chicken could be different, but with our chicken, if we have leftover bread, scraps, things like that, our chickens love that. I sell grain, so I will, you know, crack some grain for them and, and bring that out. And they just, they, uh, when we make spaghetti, we have left, uh, leftover pasta, we let it dry, break it up and bring it to them. They think it's worms and they just love it. <laughs> so we have um, a lot of these kind of things, but we, we noticed in the springtime that their eggshells were a little bit thinner and that their yolks were a little bit paler. Come summer, when we're starting to feed them out of the garden, all the, the garden scraps, then they're back to being healthy. In the winter time, the winter time where you think they're gonna be at the least because they have free range in our entire backyard, I'm wanting them to get the bugs and I'm wanting them to get um, to all their natural instincts about getting their own food. We spend less money on feed in the winter time than we do in the, in the springtime. The manure is just helping out our backyard during the winter time when we're not using it anyhow. So the, um, I'm gonna show, like I said, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes what the ground looks like here. But first, back to the coop. With the kids' playset, all four sides had openings. So on this side, we just took some boards and, and um, closed it off. The boards are not mashed together. There is a little bit of airflow. There's airflow in just different places, but it's not enough that their wind is coming through. On the front, we added barn doors so that we can have them come in and out all they want. On the wraparound porch, this spot here is open and we, we can close it up at night. We have a, a chicken wired frame that we can lean up against it with, with some blocks that if we want them to have this whole area, but typically we have them go because of critters, we have them go inside of the coop and we just close it off with our latch. Then on the other side, I'm gonna show you what we have over there. All right, now on this side, we have a person door to get in. We wanna keep the critters out and just having it like this, they're gonna be able to. So we had to have fun, you know, dressing it up a little bit with this. But this is a tall enough door that usually my daughter goes in once a week and cleans out the old coop. That's good stuff that they have in there. So we put it back inside the yard and she puts fresh bedding in. And then over here, we call it our egg door. This is the door that we um, get into so that we can reach in and get eggs if they laid them in here or, you know, replace water or food or something. In the winter time, that's where it is all in here. And if you look back here, there is a window that it's just plexiglass that we put in so that there's light that's going to come through. And so they're not just in this dark cave when it's all, all closed up. When the morning light is coming in, they're getting to see some, some light because they are usually awake before we are out. We get up pretty early, but they're awake before we are. And um, that way they're not uh, cooped up. Feel have a cooped up feeling. Now, around this section, we put these posts in and the chicken wire so that they can have this whole area to run in. They have um, this the yard and we happen to have a little forested area over there, some trees. So we ran the fence through that area and they get to walk in there. So they have some cool places. They can have um, the mulch yard. They can come up here because we want happy chickens. We want the good protein that is coming out of a good egg. And we, um, the happier the chicken, the better, not just in flavor, but in nutrients, these eggs are. So there's a couple more things I wanna show you around here. 
couple other things that chickens like to have is somewhere to roost. Not, it's not a necessary thing, but you will find they have such personalities and um, characteristics. And one of them is they like to like play king of the mountain, but they get on top of you know a stick that you have. So we just put a piece of nailed a piece of stick to two boards, so it's off the ground a little bit. And the coop is unnecessary. They will be on the floor, and that's fine. In the yard summers, you just want to kind of keep an area um, swept of the the mulch so they have dirt because they take dirt baths. It's their way of keeping clean and they did for their body oils, things like that. So you want to have that for them. And then the yard, their, their chicken yard that we have here. And remember, your yard can, your size can be different. Your coop could be different, all of that. But this is just what our yard is like, so this is what we did. But um, on this side over here, which I'm going to show you a little closer in just a minute, that has been the uh, mulch pile that we put table scraps in for, I guess, about 18 months. This has only been here about six months, and there's a big difference. The, not only is this lighter in color, but that guy is richer and, and deeper. So I'm going to dig down. I want to show you something over here. Okay, this is the side that we've had for the about the 18 months. And we will do things, if you can see it on the ground here, the not only the table scraps, but we will t we'll throw out to the girls to eat, but we'll also get some of the garden scraps and put them down for them to eat. They eat it, they, they dig around into the, the ground, the dirt, and it just is a natural churning path. So I want to just dig down a spot and show you how deep and rich this ground is. So when I need to put extra on the garden or and next year, especially because this is going to be, um, what is it going to be about eight months, six, eight months before I start needing some of the soil, this is already thick and rich. And what you do, we have a yard cart. So it's like a wheelbarrow. So you just, we, we just took a frame of wood and put the screen, the chicken wire screen over it. I get a our yard cart, set it out here, stick this on top, then I just take a shovel and I dig through this great soil and throw it on top, shake it out, and then the smaller particles will come through. That's the great soil that I can plant my seeds in and, and I can mend in the garden. Then if I can take any of the mulch that's on top to, to add more mulch onto it if I need to, and then I just next year I'll ask my mulch man to come back and give us some more of that. All right, so I've given you a lot of information and I kind of want to recap a little bit of it just so that um, you see some bullet points. The initial um, cost may be something, time may be something, but you know if you're using the resources that you have, like we had the, the uh, children's playhouse, if you're using some of that it's going to minimize obviously the cost. You can go online and see some basic plans for some small things. The yard is what was going to make them happy. So if you have, you need to have a coop of some sort, obviously the food and the water for them. In the coop, its purpose is to keep them out of the wind at night and away from the predators. You can just put some straw on the bottom. When I say insulation, it's not insulation like in our house is just straw on the bottom so they have somewhere to lay on. They don't need a perch inside. They don't need any of that kind of stuff. Our, our girls, we put them, their little ledge and a little, they can hop up on them any distance too. We put a little walkway up there. They didn't use any of it. They just started, they would hop up on onto the ledge and then they stopped doing that and they just would go into a corner and, and lay on the hay and have their, uh, lay their eggs there. So you don't need to do anything special like that. You're welcome to, but it's not a necessity. And they, they like the coop for privacy. And it's not like they won't lay the egg. They will fuss at you. They will start squawking at you because you're disturbing them. But they, um, they would like to have some privacy. So an area that they know they can go in and have the egg because you don't want them to have it out in the forest or your, your tree area or something like that. Find out in your area how many fowl that you can have an area for a dirt bath. You could put, make a little perch for them. They love it, but it's not necessary. Now the benefits, the obvious benefit is you're going to get good, organic, nutritious eggs from happy chickens that are, are just giving you something, some protein that is just good and meaty. 
The, um, another benefit is that they're going to turn around and make out of your table scraps and out of your garden waste, great soil. They just dig around into it. And like I said, in come the fall after we're done in the garden, they go in there and they do all the work and they're happy to do all the work and they will make the manure and they will do all the scratching and the digging. They will tear up all of that for you and then your yard is gonna look great. Your, your garden soil is gonna be great for the next year. And the last one, which you're gonna probably think is not a necessary thing, but they are entertaining. They have personalities and we really enjoy them and the interaction they have with each other and the interaction that they have with us. And you just, you'll learn a lot in a very um, hands-on sort of way. They, um, they just have really been a, a fun little addition to our backyard. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, we love to hear about it. Just post them below. Please follow us on Facebook at The Family Baker Arvada and um, go to familybaker.com. Find the video link and you'll find all of our other videos that we have. We keep adding to it every week. But we appreciate all the, the you guys that are sharing and following us. It really helps. Thank you. Mm -hmm.